troubles afoot. I take off my shoes in class and walk to the trash and throw away a little slip of paper that could have waited till the bell rang so I could throw it away, but I chose to rise and stretch my toes in the middle of a test so the teacher would try and put herself in my shoes. Never has this happened. The knowledge I obtain is diminished in bare feet, especially when they're dirty and your mouth isn't any cleaner. My, my, my life has been altered mechanically, whereas in school, even in my bare feet, I'm completely engulfed in individuality. There's no community. No one here holds hands unless they're in a relationship or if they're BFFs. <laughs> well, why doesn't everyone take my hand? I'll hold it firmly, but not too tightly. Let yourself go and learn about our founding fathers. Washington, Hamilton, Jefferson, and Franklin used to advocate for the extermination of savages who were barefoot. My feet have a voice. They construct their own poems and tell their own stories. My indigenous ancestors felt the energy of the earth ease its way into their feet. And now here I am in the principal's office, betrayed as an attention-seeking weirdo for wanting to take off my shoes and teach someone the true meaning of empathy. <laughs> Hand me my detention slip, ma'am. I walk out the door, makes me I walk out the door and I smirk like the sun that will rise again tomorrow. Peering out of the attendance office window, kids are devouring poison the entire system deems to be medicine for them. The school board is in love with seeing children succeed at submitting. The door shuts and my shoes are in my backpack and the attention slip is in the trash right in the middle of this test that told me Washington, Hamilton, Jefferson, and Franklin wrote and fought for our freedom that we still have today. My ancestors' bare feet are neglected while my bare feet are intercepted by my school that teaches us that the true meaning of in, what, what the true meaning of individuality is. I'm telling everyone to grab hold of my hand at your own expense, for it costs you nothing. It's as free as walking barefoot into class and saying hi to all your classmates and waving goodbye to them in the same moment once the teacher has sent you out for having a mouth as dirty as your bare feet. As dirty as the history they don't want taught. <laughs> Who I am is this. I am one foot pounding into the earth. Its rhythm will escape from my tongue, while the other foot offends those that sit in four walls and never see the sun. These feet carry the memories of what my ancestors before me carried to be sent forth to the future. I am the barefoot boy, with a mouth as dirty as my soul's. Lay down and relax, hermanitos. Allow me to walk over your back and put you back into your natural state of being. I stand forth in front of you all like my ancestors did barefoot, full of love, full of pain. Columbus was the first to look down at my brown toes and peer deep into my brown eyes. I screamed my native tongue into his sistema de educación and spoke my native word that is now archaic in my history classes, Taino. So I ask you all, when you remember those Tainos, remember me, remember peace.